everybody. Welcome back. This is Tommy B with the Biz Meet Global Podcast. Back again uh, after about about a month off. Had some big changes, uh, but uh, obviously we're back now. And uh, today is August 12th of 2023. It is a beautiful summer day in August, obviously. <laughs> and uh, I am driving. I've got a hands-free setup going, so this is a this is a pre-recorded podcast. Is if you're listening, then you obviously know that we uh, did a live podcast previously, and we still will be doing live podcasts. But uh, as I mentioned before, occasionally we'll do some uh, we'll add in some pre-recorded ones. So and it's the only way I can do it if I'm driving to be safe. You know, we're allowed to talk on the phone, uh, hands-free. Uh, but this is even, I think, uh, safer because, uh, you know, there's nobody talking back. You know, I got both hands on the steering wheel, and I am driving a uh, full-size semi. 53-foot trailer. I am driving a 2023 Freightliner Cascadia. And uh, it's, a, it's a nice truck, but... Uh, Rolling down the road, it's uh, it's huge. Uh, it feels good, you know, back on the road. So I had some big changes. I'm with a different company now, driving. That's one of the one of the reasons I took a little time off from doing the, the podcast and uh, some of the videos is uh, because I, I changed companies. Now, the other company was great. They just stuck mostly to the southeast and southwest of the United States company I'm with now uh, drives all 48 states. So, okay, you know, so just like any trucking company, they have certain areas they go to more often. Uh, but they're available, you know, the territories they will um, take, you know, uh, freight jobs in are, are all, all 48 uh, states within the, uh, you know, continental United States. So, too bad I uh, can't do Alaska and uh, can't do Hawaii, uh, but for obvious reasons, being a, a truck, I can't get there, obviously, but it would, uh, it sure would be an interesting place to, both both places would be interesting to, if you could drive, you know, if you could be there, but hey, I'm happy, I'm not complaining to all 48 states, that's plenty of uh, space, plenty of places to see, and I'm, over time, I'm gonna. I'm sure I'm gonna be able to see many places I haven't seen. So uh, this uh, this particular trip right now, uh, it's. Uh, I, uh, I started off in Tennessee, uh, and I went all the way up to Maine, which is pretty cool when you think about it. So what I'm also gonna do is is uh, occasionally I'm gonna. You know, have some video playing. I'll have some video playing. Um, you know, while I'm doing the uh, doing the podcast uh, or video recording. You know, out the uh, out the front. Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll try to get a camera set up, and um, then we can see. You know, on the YouTube channel, you can see what I was seeing while talking about the subjects that we're talking about. And of course, this is, you know, the Bisbee to Global podcast. And so I'm definitely going to be uh, talking about business related subjects. You know, that that's for sure. So, uh, but of course, catch up to date on everything that's going on. And, um, you know, uh, current events. Sorry if I, if I pause there for a second means I'm just double checking something on the road so that's the only thing about doing that uh, podcast you know while I'm driving I it might not be the perfect uh, perfect audio you might hear some of the noise in the truck but I wanted to give you you know the, the, the realistic version that way you know it's like hey, I'm really I'm really actually trucking right now and I gotta focus on the road of course so it's like I'm talking to you guys it's like I'm talking to a friend on the phone and uh, you know there's just more than one of you on the other end of the phone. <laughs> so, 
right now I'm uh, I'm in Ohio. The GPS uh, says I'm in uh, Madison, Ohio, and uh, that's probably the nearest town. You know, as I'm passing, you know, basically on, on the highway and uh, on Highway uh, 90, uh, 90 West in Ohio, probably about 40 miles outside of uh, Cleveland. Ohio. Last time I saw approaching Cleveland, it said 50. 50 miles to Cleveland. So uh, not too long ago, so probably 40 or something like that miles outside. And, uh, yep, I, I started recording uh, doing some video clips when I was up in Maine at a very small truck stop, and I wanted to give you guys a, a view of just, you know, not the entire trip down, because that would be an insanely long video, and <laughs> not that it, you know, who's going to sit there and watch that the entire time? Maybe some people, but uh, that's, uh, you know, going to be kind of mesmerizing. Um, but uh, anyways, thought I'd just give you some blocks of time, you know, kind of see here and there. So starting out in Maine, you know, you, you got one of the videos of going over the bridge, uh, crossing into uh, 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 New Hampshire. You know, now I'm in Ohio. And uh, the next video, I'm not sure. If I see something pretty interesting, like a cool looking bridge that I'm passing over, I might, you know, turn the camera back on. And uh, and I've got it on a stand. It's it's all set to go. So all I, it's like 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 turning the radio on or off. All I got to do is hit go. You know, so I can't really manage it. I just got to take a chance and see how it turns out. Because you know I'm too busy trying to drive safe. And like I said, I got it set up for hands free. Now in the future, my wife, if she comes along with me, she can uh, help out with the camera. And then we can do a whole lot more, like see something awesome on the side, going over a bridge, and you got a great landscape. She can, you know, point the camera in that direction and show you guys what we're seeing out the way, out the side windows. But for now, with with it being me, I got to just kind of, you know, point it in the front, and then I can't do anything with it because I got I got to keep both hands on the steering wheel, and, and I got to keep my eyes forward. So I'm literally just talking in a microphone in my headset while focusing all my attention on the road. So, anyways, the one of the topics I want to talk about when it came to business, uh, related to business, you know, while trucking, of course, trucking is business, a uh, very crucial aspect of business, but we're going to talk about something that's affected me because of some of the big changes. Uh, first, I'll mention some of these big changes. Well, one of them is the change in the job, but the other is with the business, uh, you know, trade market global, if you remember. That's our marketplace we're building. It's a wholesale and retail, but uh, there'll be a lot of tools for wholesale buyers and sellers. Uh, but someone can set up a store and sell retail as well if they want. And um, so that's trademarketglobal.com. Go there, sign up for a free account, and uh, help help us fill the marketplace with the good businesses, wholesale or retail, that is. And um, it'll, be, uh, it, it'll be very appreciated, and uh, it, we'll turn it together. You and I, we can turn it into something really, really great. We want to build into something that uh, that you, the customers, want to see, and with features that you actually want. So that's trademarketglobal.com, you know. And then our podcast, which goes along with our business discussion site, it's a social networking site. That's uh, bizmeetglobal.com. And for those of you who are new to our uh, channel, uh, biz is spelled B-I-Z. And then meet, like people meeting, business people meeting up, you know, M-E-E-T. And then global, obviously spelled the way you typically spell, you know, the actual spelling of global, G-L-O-B-A-L. So all together, bizmeetglobal.com, and that's our social networking site. And, uh, you know, you can, you know, we'll put links on our YouTube channel as well, uh, and you'll be able to find all the sites, uh, you know, and our podcast site too as well which is, you know, bizbeatglobal.podbean.com. Uh, you'll be able to find us there to describe the, uh, you know, for information on this podcast. And obviously, if you're listening to this, you found it. Because <laughs> you may have found it through a different platform, because uh, we will be on other other podcast platforms as well. So, uh, but one of the changes with our business, which is the Trade Market Global and Bizbeat Global, um, is... Our, our partners, not all of us are going to continue. We gave it six months to try this new type of uh, business model, you know, starting with the marketplace. 
and then building outward with our uh, in-person representation. So most of those uh, the partners were, you know, sales and uh, in-person management style people dealing with people and not the internet uh, and uh, uh, internet commerce. Um, so I did most of that, uh, the internet uh, side of the things, and uh, they they just did. It wasn't something that they were as interested in, but we, we went for it because of the pandemic, you know, as we all know, and you guys all know, uh, the pandemic drove a lot of people towards, uh, you know, purchasing products online, um, researching, you know, entertainment, everything, uh, doing so much, spending so much more time online and utilizing the Internet as a tool for many things, including their jobs. Um, so... We decided we're instead of doing that in the future and building towards it, hey, let's start with it right now. In case another pandemic hits, we can't really do anything in person. Uh, we'll, we'll at least have the internet side work so we can help our customers. Let's start developing that. So that was something new, and we thought we'd give it uh, six months to see if everyone really was into it. You know, if that's something they really wanted to jump into, uh, not being as familiar with it. And six months later, it uh, turned out that not everybody was. You know, because they got to see what it really takes. And they saw it either takes a lot of money or you're going to have a lot of, you know, a lot of online activity and social networking to get the word out. You know, or like I said, money to spend on advertising to get the word out. And uh, none of us wanted to put a lot of money into it in the beginning. And uh, so only some of us are willing to and, and are, you know, know what it takes, you know, and, and are familiar with social networking and uh, getting out there and getting the word out there. You know, tapping into the all the platforms out there, like I'm doing right now, talking to you and uh, providing this podcast. You know, that's uh, that's part of it. But it's also something that I enjoy doing. So I'll enjoy seeing it build too, and having more uh, participation from the listeners. That'll be a fast, fan, fascinating. That'll be fantastic uh, to, to see it grow. So that's where we're at right now. Uh, so, in other words. What we did is we dissolved the partnership and um, we're restarting to make sure that everyone has a way out. And, uh, you know, we, we only want people who want in who really want in. They're not just saying, okay, I promised, so I'm going to stick it through. It's like, no, that was the beginning. That was the first six months. Like, now it's time to let's find out who, because you got to really want this. This is not going to be that easy. This is a, a tough challenge. It's got to be with people who really want to see it happen. They're passionate about it, you know. Uh, even if investors of the future, they're going to be interested in this, in, in, in helping to build this type of business. Uh, it's unique, you know, I mean, not that unique, but it's uh, not like a traditional brick-and-mortar business. It will utilize aspects of both brick-and-mortar and online, you know, social networking, digital marketplace uh, businesses. But there will also be a brick-and-mortar aspect to it. So, anyways, um, yeah, that's where we're at. It's a big change uh, right now. There are a couple of the... Say, there were five of us, including myself. Now it's just me, because I decided, yeah, I put so much into it, i got to continue. And uh, I, I don't want to give up, uh, but uh, we allowed... We wanted to have an out for everybody, and find, you know, then if anyone wants... To, you know, any of the original five of us want to continue, we'll we'll create a whole new agreement. So now the partnership is uh, me, and there may be a couple more uh, who are interested, possibly, uh, but um, I'm not going to push. Don't want to do that because we want to. They got to, you know, whoever's going to be a part of it, uh, they got to want it because uh, there's going to be some work involved, but it's going to it's going to be worth it in the long run. It's going to be worth it. We want to build this big, build this to be something amazing, something fascinating. Uh, what what a what a great accomplishment it will be. So, and that's why I'm continuing. I put so much into it. Uh, this is my baby, and um, for a while there it was all five of us. You know, our baby. <laughs> and uh, but like I said, we had a six month period of time to kind of check it out, and then at the end of that. We all decided, yeah, let's, uh, let's uh, you know, let's dissolve it and then restart with those who actually want to. That way, 
There's no pressure to continue. <clears throat> so that's where we're at. Big changes. Let's see where it goes. Let's see who uh, jumps in with both feet. And um, if it's one other, one, if it's just me and one other, or two others, or three others, or four others of the original five, you know, or maybe someone else outside that will jump in uh, with the needed expertise. We definitely need uh, someone with uh, uh, programming skills, coding, but also the ability to manage other people who, uh, you know, have coding experience in uh, teams of uh, coders and in the future. You know, that, that'll be something that'll be necessary uh, for creating, you know, custom aspects of the business, you know, of the marketplace and social networking. <clears throat> and, of course, we can, you know, we can, we can hire other companies to do that. That's for sure. Uh, so that's a possibility as well. But uh, that's, a, that's a discussion. So I don't want to obviously go into what our exact plans will be. That'll be part of the mystery, and uh, uh, you'll have to stay tuned to, to this uh, to our series to see what happens next. <laughs> and uh, I myself don't always know exactly what's going to happen next, but we're pushing forward. All right, that's the update. Um, that's mainly what this podcast this this episode's about. And uh, so I wanted to at least update you guys, let you know that there are big changes coming. And it could get really interesting. So, anyways, uh, the subject I wanted to kind of touch base on in, in business is related to this because it comes to comes to mind is what how chasing a dream like this, not just this dream, but similar to this. I mean, it doesn't have to be business, but chasing a dream that is difficult, where you don't have all the resources, and you're having to even educate yourself along the way in order to be able to do it, to, to continue um, chasing the dream and fulfilling, you know, tasks that are, you know, responsibilities and performing tasks that are necessary to, to do. Uh, you end up having to change yourself as a human being. You end up meeting your limitations, your personal limitations. And oftentimes they're personal limitations that you didn't even know you had. So it's uh, it's pretty interesting. You you didn't know that you were afraid to do this or that or you know what it requires something. You, you, you have a bunch of money and you can pay other people to do it, and they have the experience. Even if they even if they have the fear, they they know how to do it. Well, if you don't and you got to step into the unknown and learn how to do it, uh, there's another side to that. It's not just that you have to learn, but also it's an unknown that you might be uncomfortable with. And so you're forced to do things that you're uncomfortable with, but you got to decide: what do I want? Do I want to just stay stagnant, or do I want to just, you know, you know, not try at all, just give up, or do I want to just sit there spinning my wheels, you know, trying but only trying the same thing that has never worked because I don't want to do anything new, or you want to break out, break the boundaries, break through your fears, your personal limitations, break through to the other side and accomplish things that you didn't know you could accomplish and do those things that are necessary to make the dream come true, to build, to build, to fulfill your goals and uh, aspirations, right? So I myself see this happening to me all the time. Uh, Right now I'm in a situation, how do I get it to the next level? I don't have a ton of money to just throw at it. So I have to throw effort at it. But what effort can I throw? It's got to be the right effort, calculated. And I don't have a mentor to teach me exactly how to get into this industry and to get it going. So this is a, it's a powerful situation. And uh, and I like it. <laughs> to be realistic, I, I like that. It's like the odds are against me. And uh, <laughs> you can almost hear my voice. I kind of, I, I, I dig it. It's a... Uh, it's something that's a. Uh, it makes me feel alive. To be, you know, to be blunt about it, it, it does. It makes me feel alive. It also makes me feel full of fear. <clears throat> Excuse me, I want to take a drink here, talking like this, on the road in the truck and all this. It's uh, you get it, you get it. It's just, the throat starts to get dry. Plus, you take a drink, you got to be careful. 
it's a bumpy in a truck. Take a, you know, take a, I'm drinking some nice cold, clean water. Good, purified, good, clean water. Tastes so good cold. But then it depends on the bumps of the truck. You go to take a drink, and that's, that's just when you go through, just when you hit, a, you know, drive over some several bumps, and it just splashes right in your face. <laughs> so, try my best to avoid that while talking to you all. So, anyways, continuing <clears throat> while while drinking water. Sorry if you can hear me swallowing. Right? I, I hope you can't. I'll be I'll be previewing this and go. Oh God! Are you kidding me? That way, you know it's real, right? <laughs> yeah, this is a genuine, a genuine recording. Me trucking, trucking through Ohio, and trucking all the way down from Maine, and heading down to uh, Tennessee eventually for some home time. But uh, yeah, that that's the destination. Uh, my work has given me uh, uh, jobs. You know, I got to drop off at a place in Ohio, and then I pick up in another place, and then where I'm taking that is a different part of Ohio. It, it, it just heading further south. And from there, I don't know, but uh, I'm trying to get home uh, tomorrow sometime. Uh, Sunday, today being Saturday. So, but uh, continuing on with this journey, as part of the conversation, you know, doing all this, it really does test your limits. You know, if you're reaching to do something that you've never done before, you know inside you can do it. But you just don't have, you don't have the path carved out for you. You know, you didn't grow up with the people who have done this type of business before, and they can map it out for you. You don't have the friends who was like, hey, we've done this. Let us let us help you map it out. No, it's good to have that. And you want to seek that out. Eventually, I'll find that. But at the beginning, when you don't, it just seems like, well, there's no way to do it. And you talk to some people, and they, they say, I have no idea how to do it. I just can't see it. Well, for myself, I can see it. And I know the way to do it is there because other people have done it. Other businesses have succeeded doing this. And I know some of the way, you know, some of the, the pathways to take. Uh, but uh, some of them cost quite a bit of money. And so that's the challenge. And if it weren't for the money, I, I've researched it enough and had enough experience. I know which direction to go. But without the money, that's the tough part. That's the tough part. you gotta, you got to get creative. Uh, you got to pull all, well, pull out all the stops. You got to set aside your fears. You got to take a chance on looking like a complete idiot. You got to jump in with both feet. And you know, by the time you do all that, even if you fail, you know, you would think you would have to become a different person. You know, your experiences would 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 cause you to be a little less fearful of doing that again in the next time, if there is a next time. You know, if you decide, okay, this failed, I'll do something else. Now you just you, know, you you keep strengthening yourself as a person, and so in a way, building something bigger than yourself, it it can be a spiritual journey. It can be a journey that you go on that becomes very spiritual, and where you know members in 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 heaven, if there's a heaven, you know, if you believe in that, they they. You know, the afterlife would be cheering you on and saying, you're doing it. You know, that's what it takes. You, you, you just, you don't know. I don't know what happens in the afterlife, but you, you can see going through the journey that you, you, if you want to do it the honest way, then you do need to become a, a, a stronger person. And strong doesn't mean, necessarily mean what some people think, where you're being a jerk and you, you know, you don't take any crap from anybody. I don't mean that. I mean stronger as in you can, you can proceed. You can persevere. Even when the odds are against you. And even amidst uh, uh, lots of criticism and uh, mental fatigue and all that. So uh, that, that's a different type of strength. And you, you begin to develop that. You begin to... to it's like your own armor that you're developing that uh, to shield you against your own weaknesses or the weaknesses of other people as they try to uh, dissuade you from taking that path as they, they see it getting more and more dangerous. And uh, I think you, you need to just uh, find the safe path 
especially if you're getting older and older, and they say you don't want to end up with nothing when you're older. And you know you're <laughs> you're, you're 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 putting it all in. It's like betting your money at the casino in a way. Only it's you know not like a casino exactly. You can feel like it though. You can feel like you're putting all your money on the table and you know that you're about to go broke. You're putting all your efforts, putting all your eggs into one basket. But it's not exactly like that because life is different. You know, life is complicated. It can seem very simple, and in some ways, it, it can be very complicated. You know, the, you know, you can lose it all and still come back, and uh, you know, have a comeback. So, but uh, anyways, that's what I wanted to discuss. And I, I find I wanted to, to mention that I'm finding myself going through that, finding my limitations, and it does have something to do with. You know, reaching out to other people and having the confidence to say, "This is what I'm doing," and if and and right now I notice something because I've been trying to do this for years and get better at doing that. You know, less fearful at, at talking about it and uh, taking a chance on looking like a fool. But the pandemic, really, I noticed. I, I don't know if that's what it is, but that's all I can think of is maybe the pandemic really did affect people that way when it comes to taking chances of any kind like this that it, it seemed to hinder you know hinder them their their creativity or their you know their willingness to jump out of the unknown you know it just it scared a lot of people and I think our society people had kind of pulled back and uh, afraid to step out there I think maybe a lot of people lost a lot during the pandemic um, may not seem like it outwardly to some people. But I think that there are a lot of people in society that lost lost a lot, like people who started businesses, like restaurants, retail stores, places that require foot traffic, that require people to go to the store. And when they were shut down, I mean, wow, that's, that's sad. Maybe they just started six months previous, and it's the most crucial period for their business very very delicate time for their their new business and the pandemic shuts them down and all their they put in all that money in savings so people pulling back you know all these other people losing their jobs they're 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 they're, they're holding on to the what they have afraid to make a new move you know it didn't seem like there's much opportunity global trade started to kind of pull back it started to, to lessen of course uh, that's what it, the news made it seem like that's the media made it sound like. I, you look at the stats, and there are still billions and billions of dollars being traded. Uh, but there was a, a lot less being traded, but it was still large amounts. Like, you look, like I, that's, the, that's the thing. I think the, the, the media had a lot to do with that, too, um, affecting the, uh, you know, the mainstream media, affecting our, our perception of it. So, you know, tell me what you think of the comments. It's just kind of a, a casual... Uh, you know, pre-recorded blog, uh, podcast, sorry, you know, here at this time. And uh, while I'm on my uh, mission to get back home, I'm driving all the way up to Maine and driving back down all the way from the, the top, you know, near the top of the uh, northeast of the United States and um, heading back down towards Knoxville, Tennessee, uh, where my wife and I live. And from there, I'll get a little bit of time at home and then uh, be back on the road again and to new destinations. So I'll keep you up to date on what those uh, new destinations will be. And we'll continue this uh, the series. So I'm glad to be back uh, rebroadcasting again, you know, except with a new twist. We got some new opportunities. And, uh, you know, it is sad to me that we had to dissolve the partnership. Uh, but it doesn't mean it was over. It just means we uh, may be restarting just with a different formation. And uh, kind of, you know, pulling back for a minute and uh, let's regroup and uh, make a new plan. And then step forward. So, again, everybody, thanks for joining. Thanks for paying attention uh, to this uh, Listen to Me talk. I'm passionate about this stuff. And if you have ideas on business subjects, let me know. Uh, we'll uh, do some research on it and do a podcast on it. So, yeah, and if you find any of your videos interesting and you want me to video something uh, along my uh, trucking, you know, uh, 
adventures, uh, let me know. I'll see if I can do it. I can't promise, but I'll, I'll do my best. So again, everybody, this is uh, said, uh, August 12th of 2023. It is a Saturday. It's a, it's a beautiful summer day. I am driving right now, and now it says uh, Euclid, Ohio is where I'm nearby, at least on the on the GPS and on, on the highway that I'm on, 90 West, near Euclid, Ohio. And, um, on my way slowly, uh, slowly by slowly, back down to Tennessee. So we'll catch you at the next uh, podcast. And uh, check out the video series on the on YouTube. I'll document some of these journeys like this, you know, little clips of, along the way, uh, parts of the, uh, of the of the path where I'm going, and uh, give more updates as well. And, of course, check out TradeMarketGlobal.com. If you want to put your products or services up for sale and sell them there on the marketplace and even accept payments with our shopping cart, or you can go to BizBeeGlobal.com and create your own discussion, your own private groups we call spaces. You can create your own private for all, just you and your employees, you and your team. Uh, have your own discussions that nobody else can see or have it be a public group invite whoever you want. It's up to you. BizBeeGlobal.com and TradeMarketGlobal.com. That's the place for, for all things business. And talking business, listening about the subject of business, and getting together and doing business. Thanks, everybody. This is Tommy B. signing out from the BizBeat Global Podcast. Have a great day, everyone. Until next time. See ya.